Hello everyone, welcome back to my NASDAQ channel. Today's video is going to continue my CyberArk 12.0 lab. I'm gonna show you how to onboard your Linux account with SS key. This is my PVWA, as you can see the system health or show screen. The topology is same as before. I have Vault has been installed, PVWA and CPM installed on another machine, PSM installed on third machine. I have three Cyberarc VMs, domain controller of course for uh, my test domain. In PVWA, I already created uh, my master policy. So basically, I disable the require users to specify reason for access. That will make my connection easier. For the session management, I enable the active. That gonna brings you the connect button when you create your account. On the platform, I already created my Linux platform. 51 sec, Unix SSH keys. So that platform is duplicated from the default Unix via SSH keys platform. I already have also created my own saves. So I have Windows Domain Admin Safe and the Linux Key for Admin Safe. Now let's start to create our account in PVWA. Click Add Account button. Select System Type. Choose the right platform and the right Safe. Now it adjusts. I have my cloud Linux VPS created with a SSH key. This SSH key is a little bit different. This SSH key, I have pass face on it. Let me show you that. The username is Ubuntu. So the private key has a pass face. I want to try to see how CyberArk handling this kind of private key. The private key has been protected by passphrase. So you have to type your passphrase, then you can log in. Then you can change it to load mode to use your VPS. So we're gonna put the lab VPS IP here, that's a public IP. The using and gonna be Ubuntu, same as we used in our party session. Now it's our private key. Just remember here, there's no option to let you to enter your password. So what we can do, we can just choose the private key. As you can see, this is a dual private key and with password inside. Other options you can keep the same. You can also allow automatic pa password management, which can allow CPM to change your key regularly. Click Add. Now we're going to try this account to see how CyberArk PVWA is going to use this password and the key. Click connect button, you will get the RDP file. So this is the PSM session going to launch. It should be automatically open the party. You can see this is first time connection, so you will get this fingerprint warning. Okay. 
now you see the cyber PVW cannot handle in this kind of private key. They think it's not right format. They showing you the file format error. Now let's try another one without password on your private key. I'm gonna create another account. Unix and also write safe and address. This is gonna be our second Linux account, which the private key doesn't have password. We gonna choose the file and click add so we onboard this account so one is for AWS one is for Azure one has private key one doesn't have private key so this one is the one we just added we can click connect We logged in. So I'm gonna show those two screens side by side so you can clearly see the difference. One has private key with password, one has private key without password. Basically, CyberArk, PVWA, and solution still not able to handle in the private key with password protection. Then we can close the session. You can see your activities. PSM connect, PSM disconnect. And you can see that failed one, the keystroke login failed. So that's the basic steps how you add your Linux account with SSH private key to be loaded into your PVWA. Unfortunately, at this moment, CyberArk still cannot handle in the private key with password protection. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.